Is Greece worth our time? We're going to find out. Welcome, everyone, to episode 157 of One Hour, One Decision, 1H1D. I am Chris. And I am Tom. And we take 60 minutes and play a random game on Xbox Game Pass and decide. Is Greece really Spanish for gray? Y- yes, but G-R-I-S, not G-R-E-A-S-E. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> this episode, like we said, is about the game Greece by Nomada Studio. Yeah. Ah. And this game had quite a few different release dates. So uh, I apologize here. It's going to take a little bit. December of 2018 is when it first got released on the Switch and Windows and Mac. Then August of 2019 for the iOS. Then November 2019 on the PS4. April 2020 for the Android. And then finally, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S, and X. December. 2022 so late to the xbox so late i mean a small team i don't know maybe that's what it is but uh, but but the windows <laughs> version came out in 2018 <laughs> i don't know man don't 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 try to explain don't try to make reason with this this is developers got to do what developers do and these guys who knows maybe they got a big big siesta i, I play this on the pc per usual and it was 3.28 gigabytes on the pc tom what about you that is interesting oh, yeah. because it is more than double that on the Series S. What? Clocking in at 6.7 gigabytes. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know why. I don't know either because, uh, yeah, that makes no sense. Why would it be that overinflated on the Xbox? Maybe that's why it took so long to come out. Yeah. Trying to make it as small as possible. Uh, who knows? But what kind of game is this, Tom? <laughs> So I was a little coy, uh-huh. a little cheeky when I wrote mine. I wrote 2D side-scrolling art exhibit. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not wrong there. It is It is quite the art exhibit. And I put down 2D platformer. Yeah, there, platformer. There's, there's some platforming. There's some platforming. That's true. That's true. And what is that game loop? So I put uh, traverse the world and collect orbs to solve puzzles and access new areas. There's a lot of gated stuff and you got to yeah. collect the orbies so you can get to the new areas. Yeah. Um, I was a little, a little cheeky with my game loop. I said move right or left and solve platform puzzles to progress the game. Yes. You do a whole lot of moving <laughs> left and or right. And then there's one sequence where you move down. Ooh, add a little little pizzazz to this uh, this dish. Yeah, but, except that you, you really just kind of fall in a straight line and then go back to going left and right. That's true. That's, yeah, you're right. You're right. But um, speaking of right, let's talk about those likes. Yes. Uh, so right from the get-go, I wrote, this art style rocks. Yeah. I love how they did the credits. Mm. I think it's so cool that they're telling the story without any dialogue. Yeah. You have a silent protagonist, oh. but somehow I totally understand what's going on. Right. Like, it was well done. This this was, the, I would say, pinnacle show, don't tell. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It was It was quite a, a, a feat and quite a feast for not just the eyes. I thought the music was beautiful in this game. And it fit really well with whatever is going on in the game. It was, I honestly, I think this is the first time I felt like I was playing an animation. If that, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Like you're playing a painting or playing like, like, a, like it, it's just so weird. Like uh, even that first sequence when you actually start to move, I was like, oh, I need to move. Like it, like it was just, it felt like I was still in the cinematic or like, yeah. and, and, and it was just, it, I was blown away with like that. Like it was it was like almost the first time I watched Into the Spider Verse. Like how, okay. like unreal, like this. Like I was like, how do they do this on screen? And like yeah. this is the same thing with this. It's so impressive. I, I was also very well uh, impressed by the music. I thought it it was very complimentary, to, mm-hmm. you know, conveying what was happening. Um, the transition, like you said, is is really cool. Where you yeah. you really don't know when the cutscene ends and when the game starts, except yeah. that like. If you're not touching the controller, you're like, nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? <laughs> yeah. and then you start pressing buttons. It's like, oh, the, no, the game started. We didn't tell you the game started, but the game started. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like how the color is slowly introduced into the world. Mm. So the game starts completely black and white as yeah. uh, 
just like the name of the game and the protagonist's name. Right. And then uh, they add red first. And then next, you know, after a while, they add green. And I presume that they will continue to add other colors as the game progresses. Yep. Um, but I like what it does both in terms of like elements, uh, you know, that it adds to the, like it adds the color, obviously, yep. And, yep. and like kind of that palette. But on top of that, it impacts the mechanics of the game. So, right. and then that happens again with green. So, it, it it does a good, really good job of that. It's it's a very simple game. Yeah. But also, it reminds me of Cocoon in mm. like how much you can accomplish with very little. Yeah, yeah. I, it makes me wonder if Cocoon was influenced by maybe this game because this is a, a, a you know a fairly old game. Um, yeah. so it's, it's definitely possible. And I, yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you that the, the fact that the game, just like Cocoon, you're just kind of thrown into this world and you don't know how to play, play the game. I think the only time that they, um, they told you how to do something in the game was when you got the, uh, smash, like the ground pound ability. Yeah. I think that was the only time they did something. Um, yeah, and, where it gave you a prompt and said, this is like hold X or whatever the yeah. button was. Yeah, and, and I, I like, thought I thought it was just impressive. I like just just in terms of design of like even the the, the game itself. There was already hints that something was going to happen, right? Like I, you got to an area where like the like the ground was kind of loose, and you're like, uh, well, and I tried to jump up and down. I was like, well, this isn't working. Like something has to happen. I tried to jump from a higher place and it didn't work. And then lo and behold, a few steps down, you get the power to then break that area. I was like. Okay, cool. I kind of like that. I dig it. I dig it. And what else? I was, what else? I also dig is you can't die in this game. <laughs> yeah, fall damage doesn't happen. Creatures trying to kill you doesn't happen. Great. It's yeah. great. It was a it was a very casual experience. I'll say it like that. Yes, and there's no difficulty setting, right? Yeah. The game just yeah. kind of starts. So. Just starts, and you just kind of get up there and, and get going. Try to experience this this girl's uh, this world this girl's world. Yes, so. understand her plight. Yeah, crumbling world. That I guess you have to rebuild. That's what I try to understand. That's what I understood, at least from what I was playing. So, yeah, that was cool. And uh, anything else you want to bring up here about your? Uh, the only other thing that I put here on my likes was that it. I wrote, it feels good to solve the puzzles and progress. Yes. So another the, game with the ahas. Yeah. Because the game doesn't really tell you anything. Yeah. You're kind of left. You, you kind of have to figure it out yourself. So yeah. I'm glad that it feels good when you do. Yes. Agreed. And it's like. Ah, okay. That's what this power does. That's what this ground pound does. Oh, okay. Now I do the ground pound, but it doesn't quite work because I wasn't quite high enough. Yeah. So I go yeah. to a higher part and do it again, and now it works. Okay. Yeah. And, and 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 then again, I, we've already kind of talked to talk uh, our listeners' ear to death about how well the game looks and sounds. I just have to also nod, uh, quick nod, also just the animations themselves. Like I love the fact that. When she does do the gets into the ground pound motion or whatever, like her body kind of flaps open into like a big cube, and then she kind of waddles with this body. It was like it was kind of like you know it was it was cool. It was like what um, I think Eastern Exorcist was trying to do, but just mm -hmm. not as well executed as this game. Because I kept doing it, I was still enjoying doing. It. <laughs> I don't know how else yeah. to explain it. So so yeah, like it was. Uh, I thought that was well done, and yeah, I wanted to just. Highlight that before we get to our dislikes here. Yes. Um, so it's kind of a pro, right? But I definitely felt it as a con. Yeah. Where it's like, I put here, did the game start? Like, <laughs> there, there's no prompt to begin play. Yeah. And then when you finally do figure it out, you're, you're this slow kind of plodding walk. Yeah. And if you press any button, your character just falls down. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's at the beginning. Yeah. And I'm like, this is, I'm like, without any kind of instruction or tutorial and the menu is totally bare bones. Yeah. It is like an exercise in frustration mm. unless you do nothing but hold right on the analog stick. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. and then once you hold right on the analog stick, eventually she like gets out of her funk. But like, I'm, <laughs> she's just walking slowly for a while, and yeah. I'm just like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess again, they they're they're trying to show you her plight, show show you yes. her like kind of like this is she feels really down about whatever happened, and yes, you know, you're. It, I guess it would be kind of cool if you like shook the analog stick left and right to like shake her out of. It. <laughs> 
like out of it. Does the game end right there? Oh, I feel better now. It's like <laughs> game over. But uh, I, I, that, yeah. I guess that would be a different different uh, tone for the game if that was. That. Um, yes. And, and again, sillier. <laughs> while the game is very pretty, there's one thing that just kind of bothered me for some reason. And it was her stick arms and stick legs. They just yeah, right? freaked me out a bit. They freaked me out. And I was like, what is going on? Because especially during the intro video, you see she has hands, like, and hands that, like, make sense for her body. Like, they're anatomically correct. And then all of a sudden, in this, like, perspective, I-, I don't know if they just wanted to kind of simplify things way, way down because you're- the camera is all the way back out. But it was just really disturbing and then you had those like the rocks with the spider legs too and i was like mm. I, I don't i don't need all this so that was a little that was a little creepy for me that was the, that was definitely one of those things i was like can't 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 look that way but i had to because that's my character i have to see where she's going um, you have no choice yeah the game auto saves but i don't know when it does i know they had an indication of saying like hey you know you'll see the symbol but i don't i think because the world was so at least that point, gray, the autosave symbol was also like in that whitish gray. So I never saw it. So yeah. I was like, when I, when I ended my hour, I was like, what did, am I done? Like, how do yeah. I, how do I know? Like, if I'm in a, like, will I start all the way over? I'm not sure. So yeah, there's, there's no manual save and there's no indicator of when the last time the game autosaved. Right. So you'll get that prompt, like, Oh, you want to quit? You're going to lose all your unsaved progress. Yeah. But nowhere does it say when that progress occurred. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So it was. It's, it's, that's not well designed. Like, if you're not going to have a manual save, you need to at least tell me wh- when was the last save? Like, wh- yeah. what am I losing? Yeah, exactly. So uh, you're collecting a lot of stuff, and I don't know what, the, what you're collecting. I mean, other than those, like, yeah. orb things that are apparently um, are mementos or memories i'm not sure but that that was all like the, the the mystery of the game was very odd i don't know what else is going on i mean again i know you're trying to bring color to this world but what are those what is the constellations or whatever that's happening in the game what yeah. do those mean to her and, and all that all that stuff so that's yeah and then here. and then you'll like collect let's say you need two orbs to solve this puzzle and then you need three orbs to solve that puzzle right. and you need five orbs to solve this puzzle and you're like okay cool and then you get to a point and they take all the orbs away and then you got to do it all over again <laughs> yeah. and it's like yeah. like i get that those orbs you know went off to join the heavens and become part of the constellations or whatever but right. it does get a little like can i just hold on to them and solve all the puzzles <laughs> and then... yeah well you know i guess that's not what they wanted to do no. And the, the one other thing I wanted to point out was um, I felt like the Z axis perspective. So like the stuff that was like in the foreground and background sometimes was a little confusing to me visually, yeah, yeah. because a lot of times I felt like you were, like there were times where you were walking past like maybe a giant rock and that would be in the foreground. And then your character like Greece would walk behind that. Whereas yep. the next time through that, ca- that rock would be be blocking your way and you're like what the heck yeah make it make it make sense so I'm no, I, I, yeah. I know but but you're right though like there it's <laughs> like it was whatever the designers wanted it to be at that moment so it's yeah. like they don't want you to go left anymore okay well now it's something that blocks your way right uh, but you, they need you to go left like now it's just window dressing it doesn't actually matter yeah yeah um i, I there wish there's a way it's not, a, it's not consistent right i wish there was a way that they maybe would have done a better job of showing that better considering how well the game overall shows like at least the gameplay like what you're supposed to do so, but yeah yeah um i'll be honest that i found at least especially the the early part of the game i found it really boring yeah like because it really is just like your cheeky uh, game description it is really just walking yeah. you're walking left you're walking right you're walking left, you're walking right. Yeah. You're hardly jumping. You're like I'm like, where, I wrote a note here, <laughs> where are the mechanics? Like, wh- where's the game? Yeah. Now, eventually the game does arrive. You know what right. I mean? And, and right. like you said, there's, you know, the transforming into the ground pound. There's a, a little helpful creature that you befriend. Yeah. Like, there's other stuff going on. But like, because the game doesn't talk to you at all, it's just showing you things as it happens. Right you don't know when these things are going to show up. So 
the early part of the game is depressing. And I assume that's <laughs> by design. Yeah. I assume it's by design. They, Probably. They did, yeah. they did it on purpose, right? Um, but depressing does not a fun game make. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, fair. The game is also very linear. There's only mm. ever one right way to go. Mm. There, you know, the game gives you kind of like the illusion of branching paths. But one of those branches is a dead end. You're yeah. going to get to it and you're going to ha- need a power or something that you don't have. And mm. you just got to turn around. Yep. Yeah, so. I, I I agree. I, 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 at one point, I was like, I thought it felt kind of like Metroidvania in that way. But I guess to your point, it is very linear. It, like, it just shows you you can't go there yet. Well, is that a Metroidvania? I don't know. Is that a Micromania? I don't know. Um, yeah. Larry, Larry was actually watching me play this game and he said it was not. He said it was very linear. So I was like, okay. Well, the expert said it, so I'm not going to bother with that. It was linear. Tr- so, trust the expert. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him. So, um, cool. Any Anything else here on the dislikes, or should we get to our other thoughts? I am ready to move on. Well, Tom, I know you said this game seemed pretty slow, but guess what? We were only a third of the way. We, we, or we are the third of the way through the game. This game is only three hours. That sounds how good. Long to be. Yeah, three hours. This game does have xCloud, but no cross saves with PC players. Uh-huh. So if you started it on PC... You cannot play the uh, your continue or your save from there to your X Cloud, so kind of unfortunate. But maybe from X Cloud to Xbox, but not mm. PC to Xbox to X Cloud. So, well, the good news is, it doesn't sound like you need to spend a whole lot of time no. playing the game to no. to get to the end. So, very, very, it seems like a very short, reasonable game. Uh, what do you got there, Tom? Uh, so I put down uh, Nomada Studio is based out of Barcelona. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how we know that it's gris mm. because it's the color gray in Spanish. Yes. Um, also the name of the protagonist. Oh. Um, as you pointed out, Chris, the game has no fail states. Yeah. You can't lose, right? There's no health bar. There's no taking damage. Um, and that was by design in order to make it accessible to everyone. That's you know, what I read. Oh, okay. Um, you know, in, in case we hadn't covered it already, the game is clearly focused on grief and depression. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the the story, the motif of the experience. Uh, And they did hire a psychologist to be brought on as a consultant. And they helped with development and impacted some of the design decisions. So like, for instance, that I press any button and I fall down and I can't jump and all that, like, that's all on purpose. (laughs) It's, It's... it's supposed it's, it's, to cause the frustration. Got yeah, it. it's supposed to cause the frustration. It's supposed to get you feeling down in the dumps and kind of dial you into the character's mind state, you know, at the beginning of the game. Got it. Cool. Well, that's uh, very informative. Thank you, Tom. But no now problem. we need to get that other information. Is this game going to be staying on our respective hard drives or um, painted white? I don't know. Black? Yes. Red doors paint them black, I think. Uh. Yeah, maybe. Um, all right. So I'll be honest. I was ready to give up after the first 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> no, no big surprise because it was really, it's really a slog at the beginning. Yeah. Um, but then the mechanics start showing up and I was like, all right, now, now, now we're getting to a game. Like yeah. it started to get much better. But because the first third of my experience was pretty unfun, I never really thought the game got to the point of being fun. Mm. Like, it got to being a game yeah. by the end of my hour, <laughs> but I'm not sure that it was a fun game at the end mm. of an hour. Like it's a puzzle game. It, yeah. There's no real challenge to it. You're, I just felt like I was kind of just going through the motions. Sure. I don't, I don't know how you felt. I guess I'm about to find out. <laughs> you are. Look, I'm a third of the way through this game and it was a gorgeous game. And look, two more hours of it. I think I could do that. I think I could do that push through and see what the heck the journey is. I want to I want to paint the color paint this world in multicolors, you know. Maybe there's a blue, maybe there's a I don't know, yellow, orange, purple, who knows. So I'm maybe I'm, the whole Skittles packet the might be in there. The whole Skittles packet might be there and I'm curious to find out. So I I mean, it'll be it'll be another game off the checklist of games completed. So I think I'm down to do that. Cool. Uh, I want to know how much more mechanics and th- I want you to play it and beat it and say, Tom, you really got to get back to it. Yeah, that's what, that that's that's a ideal scenario for me. Okay, fair enough. So those are our thoughts. Let us know what you think of this game. Follow us and say hello on Twitter at TC1H1D or shoot us an email at TC1H1D at Outlook.com. 
Check out our next streams on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 1H1D, uh, where we play these games. And, uh, you know, then you can maybe chat with us. I don't know. But also, we are on YouTube. This is this game, this episode is also on YouTube. So if you have any thoughts, discussions, want to want to talk to us and say why Tom is so wrong about Greece and how it's a a, a game that that's uh, shaking you to your core, let him know over there. He's not going to respond, but that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's... But but Chris might. But I might. But I might. it might get it might give Chris the ammunition to get me to finish this game. Maybe maybe. So there's that. But One H One D is part of that Q Two B network, and if you like gaming content, any kind of cool gaming content, check it check it all out at quitthebill.com slash network. Now, Tom, yes, we gotta find out what we're playing next. Yes, before we go, yes, the all important discovery. We need to discover what Game Pass's surprise button has in store for us. So here we go. Wow, Tom. Yes, we're playing a sequel. Huh? Big surprise but a sequel to a game we've played already. Hey, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Neighbor 2. Okay. I'm curious to see how it stacks up to the first one. Yeah, well, uh, it was not favorable the first time, so let's see if the second time is any better. So thank you so much, everyone, for doing this episode. We'll see you on the next one. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>